Hey everybody, Keith K here. Welcome to another edition of Stranded Deep Survival. And today we are going to build a little more of our base. Um, as you can see, I've gathered up a fair amount of resources so that uh, we don't have to take any breaks while we work on this. Um, I also added another storage bin uh, and put some uh, steps on them so they're easier to get in and out. I've collected some coconuts and I've got quite a few lashings which we'll need for our building. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is put your hammer back on your hand. That way when you open the crafting menu you have access to uh, the foundations and the walls and doors and such. Um, I'm going to save our planks and corrugated um, steel for other things like shelving. Um, I'm going to stick with wood foundations and wood walls and so forth. So uh, first we'll get started with the foundation. And I am thinking that this is going to be a good area here. Um, a lot of times I'll build my base uh, up a little bit, elevate it. Um, so we'll do that here. I kind of like being able to store things underneath. So there's one foundation. I'll lay out a couple. Uh, I'm thinking this is a good spot here for the main building. And then we can use this area, it gets a lot of sun for our farming, but uh, we're not going to rush into farming because um, while it does provide more resources, you do need to make sure they stay watered, uh, which can be a little bit of a pain. So. We'll start with this. Once you lay the foundation, you just hammer it. It doesn't require more resources. It's going to be a little picky here. There we go. But it does take time. So we'll just get this done. Just so you can get the idea. All right. Now, I think just a two by two is pretty going to do just fine. Uh, you certainly can get more creative than that. Um, I'm not the best. Uh, my Minecraft uh, builds even are, can, can be pretty plain, so don't expect to see too much in the way of architecture, but uh, you get the idea, and you can certainly get fancy with it. I have built two-story um, dwellings before, but I don't get a lot of value out of that, so I don't, I don't see them as all that useful, uh, you know, from a practical perspective point of view. Um, this will give us a nice place. Uh, eventually we can, you know, um, actually build a uh, bed to sleep on, or I think maybe it's a sleeping bag. Let's actually take a look. Um, instead of the shelter, but there's really no rush. Let's see. Those are tools. Maybe it's furniture. Uh, a bed. Yeah, we should be able to save and sleep on a bed, but uh, it does take three le leather, so we're certainly not going to rush into that. That's uh, kind of expensive. Um, you know, like I said, I like the extra storage underneath here. I find that to be helpful. So let's get our hammer back in. The next thing I think we're going to want is some stairs so we can get in and out. And then we'll look at a doorway, uh, some windows. So here's a wooden arch, which is basically our doorway. We'll put that up here. So let's go ahead and get everything in terms of walls in place. Um, and then we can spend some time up here just hammering. So I like to have a mix of windows and, and walls. Again, from a practical standpoint, having a dwelling isn't really all that useful. Uh, you know, it gives you a place you can build some storage, things like that. Um, but beyond that, you know, you don't really take weather effects or any kind of weather damage. So, you know, from that perspective, it's not all that big of a deal. But it's kind of fun to have them set up. It makes it look more like an actual Castaway base. Uh, let's see, that's 
a wood wall. I think we'll do. What do we need? We need one more here. And that's probably going to peek in. Those palm fronds are probably going to peek in on us a little bit. But that's okay. All right, so I'm going to keep working on this and um, I'll come back once I've got it a little more built out. And I'll show you where we're at. I think you get the point. All right, and as you can see, this is coming along nicely. We've got the basics of the shelter in place. Um, we need to put some roofing on now. So if you, again, with the hammer selected, you go to the building menu and you can navigate from menu to menu up here. So when you're in the building menu, you're gonna go over here for your roof and then pick the type of roof that you need. You can go as far as brick roofs, but I'm not gonna actually make the resource investment in that. Um, there's a lot better things we can put bricks towards, so we're gonna hold off on that. So again, you just need four wood sticks, and you can see how this quickly ate up a lot of the resources I had gathered. And again, um, we'll get them in place and then we'll deal with actually building them out. Um, I'd love to see if you are more creative than I am, if you come up with some interesting buildings. I definitely would be interested to see that. You can always leave a uh, comment down below if you've got something really cool to show off. And then we have our last roof corner here. Get this in place. And again, you can use the Q and E keys to rotate those, as you saw me doing. That drove me crazy at first. I could not figure out how to rotate these. Um, and so they just never really looked like they were complete, right? I couldn't get them in the right place. So I was trying all different types of roof, roofs. Um, so it's again, it's just a Q and E key to rotate them. At least on PC, I don't know about console. Hopefully they do a better job there of telling you what, what the, which key does what. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Looks like we're getting towards the end of the day. It's uh, 5.38. Going to lose light soon, so we may leave it here. Um, you know, the next steps really would be, yeah, you can see that's poking through a little bit. I could chop that tree down if I want. Um, maybe I'll make one storage just to show you what that looks like. Again, you'll need the hammer, and if you go to, uh, it's actually, oh, actually, it's the crafting menu. You may not need the hammer. You're going to do a container shelf. Um, we need three planks for that, so we may corrugated shelf, corrugated table. So there's, this is the one you want. We don't have the uh, resources for it yet, so we'll come back to this. You can actually put those crates snap in here. Um, so we'll save that for another day. Um, but there you are. Got a nice little shelter. We can build some furniture in here. Um, I'll probably move some of the crates underneath this. And uh, we'll come back when the daylight is, is up. All right, and we're back. It's not quite daylight, but uh, it is pretty easy to see. Uh, right now, so I'm going to actually show you really quick um, if we grab our plank scrap and we'll head inside. You can see I've already built one container shelf. I'll go ahead and build another. So you go to your crafting menu and this is under furniture and you'll find a container shelf. This is one of the better ones, uh, better pieces of furniture to build because it's actually functional. Most of this just is uh, aesthetic, right? So it looks cool. Uh, and then you place it where you want it. Now, the neat thing is they snap in, like I said. Uh, what do we have in here? Yeah, so I guess we'll just grab these. I'll probably reorganize what's in here later. Um, but uh, you can see as you approach the container shelf, you get a prompt to attach, right? So the one you have in your hand basically goes right in there. 
and you can stack these up. All right, so we can have a nice set of six. We don't have to worry about them falling over. Um, you know, like I said, I'll probably reorganize this to be food and other um, supplies other than building supplies. And you do want to keep a healthy amount of crates that you can use as you're going back and forth uh, to different islands as storage. And I brought back a lot of fibrous leaves from my last trip. For example. Um, so I'm not going to fill these up just yet here, uh, but you get the idea. You saw how that works. The so next thing uh, I wanted to build was a loom and a tanning station. So in order to do that, what we need for a loom, it's pretty straightforward. You need six sticks and four lashings. And for the tanning rack, we need four wood sticks and four lashings. Um, in particular, I don't like to kill the uh, wild boars until I have a tanning rack because that leather is very useful and um, not something you find a lot of. So, so it's good to have that up and running. Um, so you can see I've got a bunch of sticks here. Uh, and I've got eight lashings uh, already crafted. So first we'll go ahead and create our loom. All right, and we'll just put it, I guess I'll put it right here. Um, just so that that stump doesn't become a problem. All right, and then next we're gonna craft our tanning rack. Same thing. Actually, whoa, we can put it, uh, I guess right in front of that. So we have a little workstation here. Um, and I have a tutorial on each of these that you can uh, check out to see how they work. But basically, um, if you're going to craft cloth, say, you go to the crafting menu. And you can see here, if you have four fibrous leaves, a loom, you get a cloth. And you just need to be near the loom. You don't actually. Like it's not like you equip this and then do something with the loom. It can be kind of confusing. All right, if you're too far away from the loom, you simply can't craft cloth. And if you get, same thing with the tanning rack. If you get close enough, then you can go ahead and craft it. Okay. Um, the tanning rack, rack you would just be holding the, the raw skin. Uh, and I'll show you that later where you can check out my tutorial on that. All right, and then the last thing I wanted to do in this episode, uh, at which point I think we've got our base pretty well set up and we can begin to, um, I think, build a raft, get some locomotion going, um, get to some of these other islands and not have to be stuck with the survival raft there. Um, you can see I have built a farming plot previously. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Uh, that was to get the aloe planted because that will help us um, with exposure to the sun. And all you're gonna need is a crude hoe. So let's grab that. And the next thing we're gonna plant actually is the pippy plant. Uh, this is important because sometimes you can get stung um, by, I think it's a lionfish. And then I'll show you over here, there's a purpley looking spiky thing. I don't exactly know what it's called. Here it is. This guy right here. If you step on this, you'll get poisoned. And if you don't have an antidote, you'll break out in hives and you'll eventually die. So I like to have plenty of antidote handy. And let's see if we can find a pippy plant just to show you what it looks like. All right. Well, it took me a little while to find it. Um, I knew I had one here. They kind of look like this. Um, when you approach it, you'll see pippy plant come up. So if you just pick that and you'll have the pippy plant flower, which can be used to craft antidotes if you get stung uh, or poisoned in any way. And You'll find these uh, pretty much on every island, so it's maybe not 100% necessary to have a plot, a farming plot going, but um, I like to just because 
you know, you have a ready supply if you run into trouble or you get uh, poisoned unexpectedly. It's good to have, um, you know, a fair amount ready. So uh, basically you need a crude, crude hoe and I have a short tutorial on how to build a hoe and build a farming plot. Um, you can check that out if you want, but uh, just to go through it real quick, um, a crude hoe just requires a stone tool one wood stick, one lashing, and of course the stone tool is just two stone, uh, sorry, one stone. Um, but given that we have that already, uh, we're going to go to farming, and you see you just need four sticks and a lashing to create a farming plot. Um, and you've got to have the hoe equipped. But let's see, we don't have enough sticks or lashings, so let's create one lashing and three more sticks so we should have four and a lashing yep so then with your hoe equipped you're just going to go to the crafting menu and it'll take you right to farming when you have the hoe equipped um, and again as i covered in the tutorial you can use the plank or the corrugated uh, material but those are much rarer so i just stick with the wood quite frankly um, and that's it and the indicator here, as you can see, is a water drop, so it shows you how much water is available. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, it must be out. And I won't bore you doing all of it, but you can see... Oh, I might need to plant first. So grab the pippy plant. You can hold down E. You can see now it's planted. And there we go. Yeah. We can fill it up. I'll just make one more run. Um, you know, and if it rains, these fill up again. You just keep an eye on it until it uh, grows completely. And <clears throat> what you can do with that is I have a couple over here that I've collected elsewhere. Let me see. Yeah. So all you need is a coconut flask, which I have. We just emptied it. Um, and I would always make sure that it has zero servings. Otherwise, you're kind of wasting a water. Um, that you could, you know, you could find useful. So as long as you've got a pippy plant picking an empty coconut flask, we can create an anecdote. So now we have the antidote for any kind of poison we might get. And that can be pretty handy, right? And it's carved right on there. Um, and you can kind of keep a, you know, that's the kind of thing that might be a good thing to store up here in your uh, stacked containers would be you know your medical supplies so these are all kind of full just put them in here like i said i'll rearrange this stuff offline um and i think that's going to do it for now like i said we've got our base pretty much up and running uh, we've got a pier built we can smoke smoke our fish uh, i generally stick with fish just because they're so plentiful um, when we come back we'll look at um, exploring the boats that we've got here on the island to see if we can find the materials to uh, build a more functional raft than the blow up raft that we've got. So uh, again, thank you for watching. If you find these useful, please consider subscribing. It does help the channel and leave a like if you got something out of the video. And uh, we'll see you back here soon. Thanks a lot, everybody. Just a real quick follow up. It started to rain right as I ended uh, the recording and you can see it did fill this up so I didn't actually have to go um, so, you know, as long as you're getting some rain, these plots are actually fairly uh, low maintenance. It is good to have an extra water or two set up, uh, water still set up, just so that you have plenty should you need it. All right, that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. See you back here soon.